pot. What do you all think of pot? It, it's not so bad. The hypocrisy to me is that a whole lot more damage, it seems to me, is done by people who abuse alcohol. So I would say enjoy pot responsibly if you like it. I don't think it's a great idea to smoke massive amounts of pot and then take a driver's test or perform surgery, you know, pilot a plane. Some people don't like it, you know, like some people don't like yams. Some people don't like um, turnips. Nothing my mom can do with a turnip that'll ever make me eat it. You know I love my mom. Turnips taste like what stink would be if it were a flavor. There's a lot of bad press. There's also quite a bit of good, good press lately about pot. One thing I think that's missing is you have to know yourself. You have to know yourself. I know myself. I know I can't take pot. I think the following story should illustrate why. I need a cigarette so bad. Now rewinding quite a long way, the mid 80s and I have no filters at all. I'm drinking too much and I'm occasionally smoking pot. Because I enjoyed it, sometimes I got weirdly paranoid. However, having said that, if we now fast forward into present day, the new information I learned about pot made me think that this might still be an alternative for me to um, sort of sedating medication that I find I need to take for my anxiety. It might be an alternative because certainly I'd heard a lot of testimony that um, pot makes, helps a lot of people relax. And with no real intention of getting high, I turned to a friend and colleague who I knew, knew enjoyed using pot. I turned to him and I said, I would like to do a ex controlled experiment to see how I might respond to pot now. And I suggested that he uh, get something for me that might relax me. You know, and we took Friday after work because we're just going to the square beside where I work. I was just so paranoid that the experiment would go wrong. I just wanted to be close to really familiar surroundings. It was uh, the end of March or the beginning of April, so it was still chilly. Um, it was, and there was this cold kind of sleet rain going on. It really wasn't the most glorious day to get high, I don't think. We just found kind of a spot under a, in a stairway outside in this horrible weather. I don't know, he rolled the joint and lit it up and I took what I thought were kind of modest little drags from this uh, marijuana cigarette. Oh, the marijuana cigarette. Mm, the marijuana cigarette. Things were, seemed to be okay. I didn't really feel that different for about five minutes. <laughs> And then suddenly I had this strange feeling like a few hours had passed. Time suddenly was time suddenly was a very time suddenly was not going to eat those turnips. Fluid thing. Linear, 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 linear anymore. Suddenly I'm, and then I'm turn ups, them back kind of, and that was really hard on my head. That felt very strange, and frankly a bit frightening. Did you hear that? Why have I been here? And weren't we talking about something else? A lot of logic in that. Do you see? It's like the words are coming my. Oh. It's like the words are coming out and then sort of backing up and then sort of going the wrong way. Everything I was saying to me felt... We were talking about cats, but I don't know why. None of this seems to make a whole lot of sense to me. The things just got very frightening for me.
But anyway, so we went inside. Uh, I'm all. I have a lot of demons. And they tend to present themselves when I'm stoned. And there did arrive a point, and I remember it lifting, kind of with my head clearing, sort of like you've just come off a migraine and you feel that breath of fresh air coming to your head and things are clear again. And I felt centered and I felt like myself again. Well, how's it end? Well, I got in the subway and I went home. So that's the end of that story. I mean, that really deserves it. If nothing else does. That might not be a very good video, but that's the story of why Bob doesn't get stoned. I'm pleased to have a few subscribers now. I've happily been given some thumbs up, uh, but not really, not really anything to speak of in terms of comments. I would really welcome that because I'd like to know what's working, or maybe what's not working. That's important information for me too. Uh, I'd like to know perhaps what you like best. You know, maybe you like when I get kind of ranty. Maybe you like when I tell you the cautionary tales. Those are my current favorite. I started putting together something about uh, how much I like Barcelona. So, you know, there could be some fun travel content here too. I've traveled quite a bit. So as always, please click subscribe. Um, give the video a thumbs up if you're inclined. But certainly comment. I'm really looking forward to comments. I'm not going to eat those turnips.